So here's a nice little bit of kit if you're looking for a metronome. Um, this battery, it's got a square battery in it. It's a Whitner Tactile Electronic. And I do like this one. The reason why I like these, I, I'm not saying I prefer them, as in I like them. The reason why I like them is because you haven't got to press a button to go up, 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 up. You just turn this dial. Um, I like to have multiple. I love metronomes. I love metronomes, right? Uh, I like to have them around the house. This one's set on 60, for instance. Another one's set on something else. Um, it's like... It's probably sort of like... I don't know, from the from the eighties or something. Uh no, no it's, yeah, square battery, it's got really old sort of workings going on in there. I got this from eBay for a good price, so it's an old one, yeah. But the good thing about this in comparison to one of two of the other ones that I've got is it's quite loud so when you're talking about this is what i like about some metronomes is the volume because i like to be able to play what i'm playing i play a bit of harmonica um and i like to be able to hear it and this is one it's sort of it it basically gets in you if you know what i mean it's enough to do your head in if you don't want it to be doing what it's doing in the background i'll pause the video there for a second so here's an example time there so you're not going to be able to hear it very well and in that setting because uh, harmonica is probably quite loud on the beat going to sound now on the video um i use metronomes with the harmonica as you just could hear um i don't i don't really use the metronome much for guitar maybe i should do but so just so you can see you know i don't know what half of this means but um it's got everything that you need the information that you need it goes from 40 bpm to 208 i think that's quite standard and i definitely recommend this as a as a metronome if you can get hold of one 